All right, welcome back. So now that we have our player bounded by the boundary, uh, we're going to work on movement. So when our player moves, we want him to walk so that it looks a little bit more interesting. So we can do that by double clicking on the player. Okay, so you can see here, this is our default, which is the idle down animation. Let's just go like this. So now we want to load a walking animation. So go to the animation panel, right click, and click add animation. And then we can right click here, import frames from strip. And then we can go back to the asset folder here. Uh, go to tiny div. Uh, yeah, go to tiny adventure pack. Go to character, character one, walk, and we can do char walk down dot png. And uh, there are six frames in the strip. So you put six, click import, and then now you can see all these here. Okay, so let's preview that. So let's loop it and preview. Okay, that, that looked pretty good. So now let's try to play our game and see what happened. So we go up, down. Hmm. Okay, so as you can see here, the animation is still idle. So we did actually do a if then else statement to uh, make this guy move, like change animation. So. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let's go back, open up the animation editor. We need to rename this animation. This is called walk down, okay? It's very important you spell this correctly because we can refer back to them later. So we have the idle animation and then we have the walking animation. All right. So let's go to our event sheet right here. So do you remember the if then out statement that we did earlier? Um, so Let's think about let's think about how to formulate a uh, logic statement for this. How about if the character is moving, then we're going to change the animation to walking. If the character is not moving, then we're going to change the animation to idle. So let's uh, type this up here. Maybe a little bit easier to visualize. So if the player is moving then we're going to change animation to what do we name it we did we name it walk down right else we're going to change the animation to I know uh, down I don't think I spell it capitalized but anyway I think you get the point so this is our logic statement. If the player is moving, then the then we're going to change the animation to walking. Uh, else, we're going to change it to idle. All right, simple enough. Okay, so how do we put this logic statement in here? Oh, you know, I'm just going to keep it up. So let's add the event here. And we will, what's our condition here? Our condition is if the player is moving, right? So we want to select the player. And then we can go down to the movement, the tile movement um, category here. So you see how there is a move moving condition here? All right, so double click on that. So if the player uh, is moving, if player, like the tile movement is moving, then we're going to do. Then we are going to add an action. Um, change the player animation. So the player have an animation category. We're going to set the animation to, what we said we're going to set to? Walk down. All right, so remember, very important. Uh, this is a string value. So you need to put your uh, value on inside the quotes here. So walk down. Or you can, what you can do is you can delete this and just do you can do open quote, and then it will actually give you um, all the options you have available. So maybe it's better to do this, so you don't have to type it. You don't mess up and type the wrong name. Anyway, okay. So if the player is moving, then we're going to set the animation to walk down. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is else change the animation to idle down. 
So, um, it's kind of hard to do the else statement here. So what we're gonna do is, what can we change? How can we change this statement, right? So if, so the first condition is if it is moving, right? We change it to walk down. We can also do this if the player is not moving. Then we're gonna change the animation to idle down. That's the same thing as doing else here. Um, because it's the opposite of true. Anyway, so at the event, if the player, again, go down to movement, uh, it's moving. Remember, we want it's not moving. So how do we change this to a not statement? So you right click, go to, ta uh, wait, sorry. You go invert here. See this X here? It mean not, it's, it mean the opposite. So when the player is moving, if this is false, see if the, Oh, the opposite of it, the invert of it. If the player is not moving, then we're going to change the player's animation. Remember, delete open quote, select idle down. We're going to change the animation to idle down. All right, so now we have this programmed in. Let's give this a try. Click play. All right, so he's idling. Now let's move. All right, he's have the walking animation. All right, that's cool. But uh, we have a problem here, don't we? It seems like you know, walking down, that's good, but walking left, walking right, walking up, uh, it's facing the wrong direction. So what do we need to do here? Hmm. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. All right, so it's actually pretty easy to change this. Let's go back to our logic here. Let's let's just not let's just add a little bit more to this. If the player is moving, then change the animation to down, walking down. How about we change this? If the player is moving downward, then we change the animation to walk down. And if the player is moving upward, then change the animation to walk up. And then you can do the same thing for left and right. Hmm, right, that's reasonable. Okay, so let's change this statement, this condition right here. Double click on it. Uh, okay, so if the player, what do we want to change the, change it to moving to a certain direction, right? If the player is moving in direction, okay. If the player is moving down, if the player is moving down, we set the animation to walk down. Okay, so we got that. So we we'll, now we want to make a, a nice statement. So you can click over here and select the entire uh, event here. Copy. You can paste. Okay, I'm gonna move this up a little bit to keep it organized. All right, so we did down. Now we want to do up. Oh, but wait, we don't have an up animation, do we? Okay, so you can double click on the player again. All right, let's load it in. So we can do walk. Do you remember how to add in the other animations? Okay, so just right click, import from strip. Uh, we're gonna do a walk upward. Remember there's six cell. Okay, good. Loop it and then edit walk left. Okay. Same thing. This is left. Loop it. And then we can do a walk right. Uh, remember to change the name. Just click F2 while you have to select it. And we can loop this. Okay, so let's double check this. Walking up. Okay, looking good. Walking left. Not bad. Walking right. Okay, we're good. All right, so now when the player is moving up, we're going to change the animation to walk up. All right, so we can probably paste two more here. Ah. <laughs> Move the whole thing. Okay. All right, so when the player is moving left, we're gonna change this to walk left. 
and when the player is moving to the right side, we're going to change this to walk right. All right, let's give this a try. So we have up, all right, down, left, right. Okay, this is pretty good. Um, except I think the animation is a little bit slow because he's walking pretty fast. So how do we change the speed of that? Well, go back to animation editor and let's change this to be to like seven. That'll go a little bit faster. So for example, we make this like 100, it's like super fast. All right, but I think seven is good. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, save. Okay. Up, down, left, right. Okay, this is good. Now the only problem I see here is that, you see when we go up and we let go, he's still idling downward. If we do down, it's okay. Left, nope, idle downward. Right, idle downward. All right, well, we need to fix that, but let's do that on the next video because we need to dive into using variable. So see you on the next video.